Hello and welcome back to Ganesh Institute. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about real numbers and functions. So what do you mean by real numbers? Real numbers are basically a set of rational and irrational numbers. Now, you can ask, what do we mean by rational? So when we can express a number in the form of p by q, where denominator is not equal to zero, and where both of the numbers are integers, that means either negative or positive, and these numbers are co-prime, that is having nothing common other than one. So let's say we are saying two by six, so firstly simplify it. Now you can see there is only one thing common which is 1 itself. So 1 by 3, both numbers are integers. So we can say that it is a rational number. But when we say irrational, so these numbers are in the form of, are not in the form of p by q. Right? You can see root 3, you can say 1.27345 up to so on. And uh, there is nothing, we can't say that it will be repeated after some time. So these are non-terminating, non-repeating decimal expansion. Okay. Now, the point is what we are going to study under this category, real numbers and functions. So we are going to talk about fields. Okay. So let's see what are fields. So in real numbers, let's take two operations. One is addition, another one is multiplication. Okay. So you know that these are operations, mathematical operations, right? So there are some op uh, some properties of real numbers. When we talk about addition, we have closure property. So what do we mean by closure property under addition? So basically R, that is the set of real numbers, is what? Closed under addition. How, we, how can we say so? So when you say closed, that means when you apply this operation in between two numbers, two real numbers, let's say X and Y, and you apply this operation, which is addition here, then the result is also a unique real number. Okay, that means the number which we will uh, have after applying this operation belong to this set, real number. So 2 plus 3, both are real and what we are getting as the result is also a real number. So that means it is a closure property. It follows closure property. Okay, then we have addition is associative so what do we mean by associative? When we have, let's say, three numbers to add. Now it's our choice whether we want to uh, pair up these two or last two. But the result will be same. So if you see 2 plus 3 plus 6, if we do 2 plus 3 and 6, 9, that is 11. Or if you want to do 2 plus 3, that is 5 plus 6, which is also 11. These are same, right? So that means it follows associativity. Then another property is for addition. We have, there is a zero which exists in the operation. Which we can say is the additive inverse. How? Let's say you have a real number x. And if you add, that means apply this operation, addition operation with 0, you will always get that real number, right? So that means there is a real number 0 which exists in the operation which will give the number itself. So we can say that the number, let's say if we have x and we want that 0 by applying this additive operation, what should we add up? negative of this number, right? x minus x will be 0. So that means we have the additive inverse also, which will provide us the 0 
under additive operation okay so this that means a negative exist which will give us the zero okay then addition is also commutative so in associativity we have taken here three numbers right in commutativity we have only two numbers when you do x plus y or change its order that doesn't make a difference both are same so 2 plus 3 is 3 plus 2 which is same right and they all belong to real numbers so this is these are the properties of addition then we have multiplication so what we have in multiplication so all these properties exist in multiplication that is multiplication has uh, is closed i mean real number is closed under multiplication okay that means so what do we mean by multi, uh, closure property that whenever you have two real numbers and if you apply this multiplication operation between them then whatever you will get is also belonging to the same set that is real number it will provide the real numbers okay then multiplication multiplication is associative as well right let's say if you have three numbers if you want to add first if you want to multiply first two then multiply it with the third number or you want to pair up last two and then multiply the result will stay will be same 2 into 3 into 6 so 2 times 3 is 6 into 6 that is 36 then if you want to pair up last two 2 times 3 times 6 is 18 18 to the 36 both are same thing right then we have just like we just talked about zero exist in addition we have unit digit exist in multiplication how so if you see let's say we have a number and you want to get the same number by multiplying it with another number what would be that number you think one right so this is the multiplicative identity so when we say multiplicative identity we have that number which will be multiplied with the number to provide us unity that is 1 by x multiplicative identity is 1 but multiplicative inverse is the inverse of that number okay are you getting it so all those properties which were there which we just studied in addition are also same or similar uh, with respect to multiplication also so multiplication is commutative as well if you multiply xy or yx both will be same 2 into 3 that is that is 6 3 into 2 that is 6 both are same and also one additional property is multiplication is distributive so what do you mean by distributive property so let's say we have some sort of question like this so you have to multiply x with y then addition will be there x with z and here both all of x y and z belong to r if all these properties that means closure associative distributive commutative a multiplicative identity right unity are there then we can say that that particular uh, operation right if all these properties are satisfied then we can say that the set that means real numbers form a field okay these are the properties and all the numbers which are following this can be considered as a field with respect to addition and subtraction okay now let's talk more on this that is order relation on r okay so let's see what are they so when we see order relation so order means you know when we are multiplying x with y 
x is at the first position, y is at the second. So these are the orders. So we are considering, let's say, x is greater than y. Okay. So if x is greater than y, this is one operation. Okay. Now, what properties this greater function holds? First property is trichotomy. So, what do you mean by trichotomy? Let's say we have real numbers A and B. Okay. So, either we can write A is greater than B or we can write A is less than B or we can write A is equal to 0. But do you think um, any of, I mean, all these three properties can exist at the same time? No, right? So, this is B. So, law of trichotomy means for any two real numbers, only one, one and only one property will be hold by these two numbers. That means law of trichotomy exists. Then this greater function is also transitive function. How? Let me tell you about relations and functions. So let's say we have a set. Okay. I have these three numbers in that set. 1, 2, 3. Now I want a relation from a set A to A. That means we have 1, 2, 3 numbers in set A. We have 1, 2, 3 in set A. So what relation can they have? Maybe you can pick one from first set and you can link it with one of another set. Then two from two can be linked with two or three can be linked with three. So this type of set is considered as relation. That means relation of one set with respect to another. All the elements of first set are considered as domain and all the elements of another set are considered as codomain. Right? Now, when we say function, so in relation, what we can have is one can be linked with two again. So we may have another element 1 comma 2, then 2 comma 3. Right? These are all possibilities. But in functions, you cannot repeat domain. So domain will always be 1. It will not be repeated. Otherwise, that relation will not be considered as function. Right? So this is the difference. Now, when we say relation, there are three types of relation. Symmetric, transitive or reflective. And when all these three functions exist, I mean three relation type exist, that is symmetric, reflective and transitive, then we say that that is a, or that is an equivalence relation. But we are not studying all these things here in this lecture. We are just focusing on ordered relation. So first property which we talked about is trichotomy. Then second is that greater than. We have taken the example of greater function. So greater is transitive. So what do you mean by transitivity? Let's say A and B are real numbers. A is greater than B. Then B and C are real numbers. B is greater than C. So if you link these, th these two conditions, then you will find that A is also greater than C. For all A, B, C belongs to R. Right? So it is quite evident. If A is greater than B, and B, if you just take this common out, so A will be greater than C. So greater than holds transitivity. Then, what we have is, if we do the addition, let's say we have A is greater than B, okay? So we can say for greater than function, if we do the addition operation, then that is monotone. What do we mean by monotone? 
so if you add the same number to both of the side both of the sides then that will also hold the greater than function okay and then if we talk about multiplication then multiplication is also monotone let me erase some of the part so if we talk about the multiplication that is also monotone in greater than function so monotone monotone in this category we take one number let's say this is the property a is greater than b which we have considered x is greater than y or a is greater than b but if we want to have some other number just like we did it in addition let's say c so if you multiply to both sides c that will also hold the monotone property but only in the case when c is greater than 0 why because if you talk about c is less than 0 let's take example c is less than 0 so what will happen c is negative so in that case you know the inequality when you multiply the opposite with opposite signs the sign of greater than function also gets changed right that's why we are not considering c is less than 0 and also when you say c is 0 why we are not we have not taken c is equal to 0 here because after multiplying with 0 to both of the sides this cannot be the condition right that's why so anyways all these property the tri law of trichotomy the transitivity addition monotonous x multiplication monotonous if all these properties are hold by any field then that particular relation which is greater than here can be considered as an ordered field right because order matters then we can't say if x is greater than y we can't just simply change their order right otherwise the the function will guess will will get changed right so this is the ordered field if question will come that you have to prove this ordered field for less than function then simply what you can do you can interchange the terms see from this function can we say y is greater than x so again you can apply this to all of the categories right I am hoping you got an idea of what is field and what is an ordered field. We will figure out other parts of this unit in next videos, in uh, some of the next videos. Till then, if you have any doubt, you can comment in the comment box. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Till my next video, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.